of you have requested it, and I am back, baby. We are back to make some videos. It is Masters Week, finally, and we have Georgia Golf Club, Augusta Golf Club, on the simulator today, and today we get to answer one of the oldest questions I've had floating around in my head. How many mulligans would it take me to shoot a perfect score, 54, birdieing every hole? I have no idea. There's only one way to find out. Let's go play some golf, brother. <laughs> Get ready! Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Oh, we're doing it better than anybody else the right. Go in! So here is the setup for today's round. We have unlimited mulligans, but it's kind of hard to do that because on GS Pro, you cannot turn gimmies off. And that's a problem because if I have a 10 foot birdie putt and I miss that birdie putt and it goes in the gimme circle, they will give me a par. And I don't want any pars today. We need birds and big birds. To get around that, we have a scramble mode enabled. So that way I can still hit a mulligan. Just trust me, it's gonna work. The tees we're gonna be playing is 6,600 yards. And we also got a five foot gimme circle because if you're gonna shoot 54, you're gonna, you're gonna make all your five footers. I would sure hope so. Let's go to the first tee and see how this goes. The first hole at Augusta National, Tiger Woods Nemesis hole here with the pin in the back left today we're just gonna try to find a fair way and get us going my goal for this round would be to get through the first three holes with hopefully no mulligans but that is probably not gonna happen just need a nice little pull fade down the fairway to get us started oh it might be fading too much I hit it out of the heel we might have a gap over here might have a gap Okay, I think that'll be okay. We have no idea because of the scramble mode. They're waiting for the next players to hit, but we're gonna use that. Not our best tee ball there, but we got away with a break in the trees here. 83 yards out of the pine straw, 64 degree. It's gotta be pretty good. Spin. Okay, not a gimme, but we got a putt, and I think any time we're inside of 15 feet, we're just gonna take it, maybe 20. I don't know, we'll figure that out. This putt would be huge if we could get it to drop here, not burn a mulligan, because it's got quite a bit of break. Not very confident. Oh, we drill it in the back. I definitely hit that firm, but we got away with it. I am more than happy with that start, even though it was a little shaky, but now we get to play in my favorite hole on the golf course. Hole number two at Augusta National, downhill par five. If you can bomb a draw around the corner, you will have a very short shot in, and that's what we're gonna try to do. We'll flip the hands and see what happens. Oh, we did it! What a miracle! I hit a draw! Oh, yes! That should be a ways down there, I would hope. No need for a mulligan on that one. After that drive, all we have left is 140 yards. I'm gonna go to a nice smooth 50 degree. It'd be nice to have a big bird on this round, but also at the same time, it would screw up the uniformity of birdies. So I don't, I don't know what, I don't know how to feel about it. Oh, I hit it left. Should be about the right number. I didn't want to go in the bunker. Hopefully it'll spin. Okay. We're not gonna be picky on this hole. We got a dead downhill 26 footer for the big bird. Just gonna get the speed right. I just don't wanna pound it through the gimme circle and make things awkward. Oh, oh, one time, let's go. I don't know if that means that we can par a hole now, but I don't know. We can't par any holes. We gotta, you know, keep making the birdies and big birds, I guess. Maybe we can shoot under 54. Well, we're gonna have to because we're not making any pars. Hole number three, a short 340 yard par four. The green is elevated. It gets a little tricky up there. Oh, and I healed it really bad, but that should kick left, I would hope. Maybe, kick left. We're gonna be short. That'll be fine. Kick left, harder, harder. Come on down. All right, fair way. We got 51 yards left in after that drive. Hopefully we can knock it in the gimme circle and not even have to putt this. That should be pretty darn good. Bite! Oh! She wanted to rip back, but she just couldn't. We've got a tricky little seven footer and all putts at Georgia Golf Club on the simulator are tricky. This is probably, I would dare to say, the hardest 
course to putt on on a simulator. Oh, it lipped in. It lipped in, baby. I was a little nervous. I went with a high side line and tried to die it in there and hit it a little firm. Hole number four, for some reason from the white tees, we're still 235 yards away from the pin. Luckily we're downhill, but this is gonna be a tricky hole to make birdie on. I'm gonna go to a six iron here that should be about the right club. The pressure's on. This is why I said the first three holes, cause this hole is gonna be tricky. Fade, fade. Oh, I don't think, we, oh shoot. All right, I think we're gonna have to use a mulligan on that one. Our first mulligan, but I had a I had a suspicion it would come on this hole. Or not. Ugh. It's gotta go. Skip. Skip. Big off. Okay. Oh, stay there. Don't come. No. Oh. So now I have a bit of a dilemma. I think that putt's gonna be around 25 feet and I could go and try to hit six irons at this flag all day. <sighs> so I just take that and maybe burn some mulligans on the putt or do I burn some mulligans here? I think we go putt it. Let's go putt it. 26 feet is what we have. We are coming uphill over a foot, so we gotta hit it a little firm. Oh, we gotta hit it firmer than that. My goodness. We gotta hit that really hard. Oh, and then I hit it really hard. This is where it's getting ugly. Oh, I didn't hit it. I didn't hit it. Oh, go to your home ball. Not too good for it. Go home. Come on. No. Oh, I've got a little note card here to write down all my mulligans so I don't lose track. According to my math, I think this is mulligan number five. <laughs> We're so close. In the future, we gotta hit it closer than 26 feet. This hole's getting ugly. A little firm, right in the back. Yes! Let's go. I was so worried we were gonna rack up like a dozen there. According to my notes, one mulligan on the tee. One, two, three. I missed it five times. Not ideal, but we got through it. That was a tough part three. All right, I'm gonna just try to hit a nice little pull fade here. Put it in the fairway. Uh, push fade. Hopefully I hit it so poorly it doesn't get to the trees. I did. Perfect. Not ideal, but we won't be picking. Look at that ball flight. That is ridiculous. 143 out of the semi-rough. Not a great drive, but we're not burning mulligans on drives. We're gonna go to a 50 and try to get something inside of 15 feet. Oh, that's awful. Cool. Cool. Not fully used to this 50 degree because it's not my normal 50 degree. More on that later. We'll try to do better than that. That was bad. Let's not get in the mode of just taking these mulligans. Oh, and then I leave it out right. And then I hit it way shorter. How does that even happen? Second mulligan of this hole. Oh, this club sucks, dude. Stay there. Stay there. Oh, it's off the green. Mulligan number three, not going well here. Oh, that's even worse. Go, go, sit. Okay, that was a debacle. Yeah, we just gotta stay away from this club. We've got 11 feet downhill for bird. Let's stop using mulligans. Oh! Booyah! The last two holes, we're just gonna have to forget about those. All right, we got another really tough hole. Hole six, downhill, 160 yards, but that pin is tucked right over the bunker, so it's gonna be hard to get to it. I hit it 152, it's gotta go. Go, go! Oh, okay, I got a little too cute with that. That should be much better. Oh, it's still gotta go. Come on, honey. No! Okay, I'm getting way too cute here. Let's just hit one on the green and make a pot. I realize it's not a 70% wedge, it's a full wedge. And then I chunk it and we're still in the bunker! No, we aren't. Now I hit it too far. 
No, I should have just hit it full the whole time. What have I been doing? Sometimes golf, you know? You wish you had mulligans. Well, today we got them, but we're still not very happy. Got it. I know what some of you are saying. Why didn't you just hit a nine iron? Well, you saw with the last one, the wedge was really nice. You know, I was just, you know, should have done that the first time or the second or the third. All right, hole seven, a 330 yard par four. If we really get a hold of one, we might be able to knock it on this green here. On the green would be awesome, but front bunker, just fine too. Why did the screen move so much after I hit it? Oh, that's not bad, I don't think. That drive actually leaves us with a really delicate little chip shot here. We're coming into a slope and then we got to get it to stop and then it's breaking, you know, stuff like that. Oh, we did. Oh, all right. That feels good to not use any more mulligans. So this is like three holes there. I think we used a thousand. Hole number eight at Augusta uphill par five. My draw seems to be working better than my fade right now. So I'm gonna just go with that. And then I faded it. Oh, isn't golf fun. Give me a gap. Give me a alleyway through there. All that hole in the middle and I have to hit it over there. I mean, what am I doing? We ended up having a decent gap over here and I won't be too picky. This will work out just fine. 190 out of the pine straw, uphill 10 yards. We're gonna go to a six iron, try to hit something low fade and towards the pin. Fade, honey. Oh, she's fading. She went a lot further out of the pine straw than I thought. Way further. Well, we missed the green, but we only got to get up and down for birdies. So we'll take it. Oh, and I hammered it. What do we do with that? I got 12 feet for birdie there, or I can hit this chip shot and pretty easily get it in the gimme circle, but then I'm guaranteed to use a mulligan, so I think we'll take the putt. This is a must make. Yes! I can breathe. I would have been pretty mad. All right, hole nine. This green is very tricky, so let's not use a mulligan on the tee. That should work just fine. Oh yeah, perfect. Little high in the face for some low spin bombs, baby. That leaves us with 59 yards coming up the hill, a little 64 degree, hopefully a little one hop and a stop. 1 hop. Oh, I needed more than one hop. Stay there. No. Stop. Stop it. That's gonna leave us with a little over 18 feet up there. I think we gotta go for it. Try to save our mulligan. Oh, I should have hit another wedge, but I had to go for it. Oh, I knew I hit it too hard, but I was hoping it would go in. Darn it, another mulligan. Oh, I really should have just hit another wedge. Oh, and then I pulled it. We are burning mulligans. Not good. Oh, and then I let blah, 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 blah. That one's got it. No! Mulligan number five. Can we make a putt? Oh my gosh, I'm gonna lose my mind. Why is this putt so impossible? I've never seen anything so impossible in my life. According to my math, I think we used 18 mulligans on the front nine. A little more than I would have hoped for, but we used them all on four holes. The other five, we were just fine. Whatever. I have no expectations, but I'd like to beat that on the back nine. Maybe. Hole 10, we got a 485 yard par four down the hill and dogleg into the left. I'm gonna try to hit a nice smooth driver because I gotta take a little bit off this and hopefully turn it over. I should probably just hit a two iron, but we got mulligans. Oh no, I think that's gonna be our first mulligan on a tee shot. I do not wanna be where Bubba Watson was. This is bad. That was not good. Burning a mulligan, this thing's gotta turn over. None of that non turning over stuff. It's turning over a little bit. I hit it thin, which is good. Sit down, okay. 
we're in the fairway. That leaves us with 137 downhill coming into this green. I'm gonna go to the 50. It's been a bit of our arch nemesis, but we're gonna try to make it work. Oh, that should be pretty darn close. Come on, baby. Give me the first gimme. Ah, oh, didn't spin back. 10 footer downhill for birdie. Can we just stop using mulligans on putts? That would just be awesome. Oh, we can't stop it. Darn it. There we go. Burn two mulligans on 10. Oh, well. Hole 11, only playing 397 for us today. We actually almost got to worry about the water up there. So we got to try to fade something out to the right. Oh, don't go in the water. Don't go in the water, please. I think that should be short of it. Hopefully, sit. Okay, we're all right. Go! Ah, I'm a little off on my short wedges, but I think we're gonna go with that putt. 12 feet slightly uphill is what we got left. We gotta get the putter hot again. There we go. All right, one mulligan on that hole, not that bad. Really shouldn't need a mulligan from 48 yards. Is what it is. Hole number 12, we got 142 into the green. Be good. Go, honey, go, go. Now sit, now sit. Yes! I feel like I haven't found a gimme circle all day. Look at that scorecard. No mulligans, I swear. Hole. 13 at Augusta National, dogleg left, par five. Try to bend it around the corner. Kinda got a weird tee box here. It forces us to go way right. We're gonna try to bring it back, but we're probably gonna end up in a weird spot. Turnover. More than that. Yep, that's a weird spot to be, but not a bad ball. Hopefully not blocked out there. Yeah, I think that'll be fine. I'm tempted to go to a 50 to get it close to that pin, but I don't wanna to get too cute, so I'm just gonna to go to a wedge. I can hit it past the pin, two putt, and get out of here. And if you've made it this far in the video, you might as well go down there and hit subscribe. And to all of my awesome subscribers who have commented, asking where I've been, asking if I'm okay, you guys are the best. I've seen all the comments. If you write a comment on this channel, I will see it, I guarantee it. And I hit it 140. That's got to go so much. Pop. No. Stay. Oh, that was so stupid. I got cute with it for no reason. Well, I hit that really thin and off the heel. Awesome. That just hurts me. There we go. Safe and sound on the green. Why didn't I do that the first time? It's kind of the whole point of this video. Why didn't you do that the first time? This putt is almost identical to our last big bird putt. So maybe it'll go in. Let's go! Why am I making the big bird putts when I don't have to? I would have loved those on some of the putts that I took five mulligans for. Ever seen a guy more upset at making eagle? Hole 14 at Augusta, not a bunker on the hole. 427 yards up the hill to a pin sitting on a little bitty shelf on the back right. Let's get her going here. Let's find the center of the club face here. That'd be a nice feeling. Yeah, that's pretty center. We'll take that. That was solid. Right where we wanted it. Nice, nice. 109 we have left. We've got a pin sitting up on the shelf, so we gotta be pretty precise with the second shot. I'm gonna go to a 58. I'm gonna try to throw it behind the hole and spin it back. Let's go dancing. Oh, that's gotta go. Go, 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 stay. Oh, I was worried that was gonna rip hard. I kept it in the gimme circle, didn't have to burn a mulligan. The back nine's going a lot better than the front so far. We're just gonna aim right down the middle and try to hit it somewhat straight. That actually, we actually kind of did it. I blocked it a little bit, but that's pretty straight. Nice. That's gotta go a little bit, a little bit more. 
Don't rip too hard. Come back in the circle. Another big bird, baby. The 50 is, I mean, talk about a redemption story today. I was dogging this club. So I lost my 50 degree in a tournament. So this is just a off the rack 50, which is not the best for me with my speed. I like an extra stiff with a midsize grip and it's too upright, but whatever. Now it works, maybe we'll just leave it. Where has Ric Flair been all day? Woo! Ric Flair. Woo! 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 We're coming right back. Hole 16, we got 157 to a pin on the right side. I'm gonna go to a pitching wedge. Should be a pretty full pitching wedge. Haven't used the mulligan in a while. Might be jinxing myself, but. Oh, there's a mulligan. Oh my goodness. I hit my number, 157, but we're in the water. Oh boy. Oh, we are in the water. That was just a really bad swing. Just a horrible swing. Lack of focus, lack of talent, too much loft, if you know what I'm saying. That was disgraceful. We got a rebound right here. Yeah, that's a little better, Willie. Go in! Oh, why didn't I do that the first time? Golf. Booyah, baby. Look at that. I just can't get over all that red. That is so pretty. It's like a dream, but it's also not because it's not real. It's kind of real. I could edit this whole thing. You wouldn't know I took any more of it. Let's hit a bomb up there, shall we? Let's feed this thing the hammer up there. Oh, I pulled it. I was trying to stay on the right side of the fairway. What are we doing over here? Darn it. At least I hit it hard. But this is not a great spot to be. 67 yards out of the semi rough, 64 degrees. Oh, stop rolling. I really thought that was gonna be perfect. Like bounce, skip, rip, stuff. No stuff. Let's go. One more hole to go. All red on the card. And a few mulligans later. Hole 18 at Augusta, dog leg up the hill, par four. Bunkers are gonna be tough to carry. I think they're about 310 up the hill, so we gotta hit it hard to get over those. Oh, an absolute perfect drive to end our round. That feels good. Didn't have to burn too many mulligans on tee shots today. Final approach for our perfect round of golf. We're gonna go to a 50 degree, 127 uphill, nine yards. I think we can fly it past the hole and bring it on back with a little English. A little pulley, but that should be pretty decent. Spin back, has to. Oh, I thought it'd spin more than that. That is not how I saw that going. A 21 footer to close it out, or do we hit it again? I know I could hit it closer with another shot, but I think I'm just gonna take the 21 footer. If I make this putt, no mulligans on 18. If I go back and hit it in the gimme circle, that's a mulligan. I think we gotta try it. This is a really dumb idea. I should go back and hit that wedge right now. We're gonna do it. We can do it. I'm having second thoughts, but we can make this. Oh, and then I pulled it! Oh, I shouldn't have done this. Get it together here. <gasps> oh, I should have went back and hit that wedge again. That was so stupid. Yes, we did it. A perfect round of golf at Augusta National Georgia Golf Club. And it took me, I don't even know off the top of my head how many mulligans, but it took this many mulligans. That was a lot of fun. It was actually kind of stressful even having the mulligans, just thinking about what shots to use and not to use. But I'm very glad we just got through that. And I think it was a really good practice round for the tournament this week. And make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss those rounds. And of course, until I see you in the next video, go play some golf, brother. <laughs>